Hi again, uh, let's continue our discussion of Phaser and uh, making stuff with JavaScript, modern JavaScript, right? And um, where were we? So in the last video, you know, we got our code going here and we, you know, we made a text object and some other stuff. Let's start in on the tutorial now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the tutorial that is um, from the official Phaser site. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to look for Phaser 3 tutorial and the one that I want here is you know making your first phaser 3 game part 1 right and you know it looks like this I'll include a link in the uh, in the the notes and essentially the game's gonna look something like this you're gonna have a little character that jumps on these platforms and picks up the stars and avoids the these bombs that kind of bounce around okay so they've written the code in a little different way I'm gonna write it with this import export sy syntax right so it's gonna be a little more modern or use a little more of the build system advantages right um, but we'll use the same code that they've written here okay um, you know we can talk about like why it's different okay so the first thing that we need is we need to get the zip file here. So if you look under requirements, it says download the zip file. So I'm going to download that and I'll open it up here and they give us a file and they've put all their code in just in the HTML file, right? But we're going to use Webpack and, and the build system. So, so we're not going to use these, but they've included a folder called assets and the assets folder has all of the, um, the artwork for the game, right? So here's all the artwork, right? Okay. And we'll talk about this guy. This is the, it, it's called dude.png, right? And this is the character that you use to move around the screen. And it's kind of funny because they give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different images. Or is that nine? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's nine, right? So they gave you nine of these guys. And you can see like if you, if you just showed one of these, then you know you'd have the character and then you can see this is kind of like running and standing and running right and facing you and then facing the other way and this is called a sprite sheet and we'll talk more about that later but essentially you know this is one um, character with all the different images that make up that character and the computer is just going to slice out like one little rectangle and display it and then when you when the character animates or when you change direction it will take a different slice right and we'll talk about how that works um, as we as we go through the tutorial but anyway we need to get these files into our project so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go find the assets folder here in you know in in Atom right and we can just replace it with this assets folder here or you can just copy all those files into the folder you know um, Maybe I'll do that. I'll just copy all the files here, Command C. I'll select them in Command C, right? And then I'm going to just right click on this thing and choose, uh, you know, um, where is it? Show in Finder. So when I show in Finder, it finds that assets folder and then shows it to me, right? So I can see the logo PNG. And then I'll paste. And then I've got my platform, I've got the sky, I've got the dude, I've got the bomb, I've got the star. Okay? So now all of those files are in the folder here okay so that's pretty good let's take a look at the tutorial right so back at the tutorial page you can see that they say you know open part one HTML and change the code or you know look at make the code match what you have here so they have a config object right so what we'd like to do is they've written their config object directly into their HTML but what we're gonna do is we're going to let me actually rearrange this these windows just like a little bit so I can see them kind of side by side here so what we want to do is we just want to go to our config file and type in the values here so they've got phaser auto 800 by 600 and then they put in preload create and update but that's the scene right so they're creating a new game scene down here with these functions but we've got all that stuff in game scene right so we've kind of already got that right um, and then if we scroll down here, they kind of talk about it a little bit, and you can read that, right? Um, and then we'll go to next. And what we want to do is they're going to say, let's preload 
the sky, the ground, the star, and the bomb. Okay, so why don't we add that? And you can just copy, and then they've got the sprite sheet here too, where they're going to import the dude. Okay, so uh, I'll just copy all this stuff out of their preload method, and we can paste it into our preload method. Right? So um, I'm going to replace this thing here that says logo. Let's delete that. And when I do this, I'll get an error, right? Because this image is no longer preloaded. So down here, when we try to create an image from logo, you know, it doesn't exist, right? So actually, why don't we delete all the stuff in create here? And then that way, you know, we won't have that mistake, right? Okay, great. So oops, I hit save there, right? So, uh, so what do we want to do next? Let's go down here and it says displaying an image, right? So they want to display the sky image at 400, 300. And we kind of saw how that worked before. So why don't we do that here? Um, we've got, you know, this dot load image sky, and then we're loading the asset sky PNG from our folder, our assets folder. Why don't we go here and let's say, um, you know, uh, this dot add image, Oops, I gotta need another D there, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna say the image name is sky, or actually we wanna say the, the position first, so 400, 300, and then the image we wanna add is named sky. So the sky image is the one that we have here, right? Because we gave it this, this ID, right? Let's see, let's see how our, our game is looking. Hey, it's looking pretty good, right? So we've got the sky picture there. Um, I kind of made my window kind of wonky here. Let's fix that. Yeah, there we go. There's the whole thing. So um, so there we go. Uh, and then they're going to position the ground and the star and the bombs, right? So so we'll use these later and we'll, we'll add to our code, right? Um, so we got our sky showing up. Uh, let's go down here and they give you some some hints here. They say like, hey, you know, you can change the origin of the sky and then use that to position the sky. Now, we positioned it at 400, 300 because the sky is um, 800 by 600. So the center point of the sky is half of 400 or 800, which is 400 and half of 300, right? And that's what, that's what puts it in the middle here. You could also position it at 0, 0 if the computer saw that the center point was in the upper left corner, right? So if we um, if we go to uh, game scene here and we set the position of the sky to uh, to zero, then you can see when it re-renders, the center point is here, and so half the sky is off the left and half of it is off the top, right? So if we um, if we got a reference to our sky like this. We could say, you know, sky, what did it say there? I think it said set origin, right? Um, oh, yeah, set origin. They put it on the end of this thing, but we can also get this as a variable and and just call it on, on our variable, right? So we'll say set origin, and we'll set the origin to 0, 0, which should be the upper left corner, right? And now we've got it in the middle again. But this time, the, the sky is positioning around this point here rather than the point in the center. So that's kind of what they're saying here, okay? Um, let's see what they've got here. So they said like add sky. Oh, they're gonna add a star. So let's put a star on the screen, right? Um, and you can try and add any objects you like, right? Let me get this, the, the game there, right? Um, let's add a, a star, right? So let's say const, you know, star equals this dot add um, image. And uh, what do we want to do here? We want to put it at, let's put it in the center of the screen, 400 and 300, and we want to add a star. So I'll save that, and then I can see this reloads, and I get a star in the middle of the screen, right? And then we can animate this, and we can make it clickable and part of the game, right? So this is the basics there. Um, we're just using the same ideas from the starter project and then following the tutorial, but we're putting it in a different format here. We're extending Sky, and we're using import and export, right? And then our code is a little more organized for that. And then whenever it gets built, it gets bundled into the build folder here, right? Okay, so anyway, um, thanks for watching. We'll continue with the tutorial and go through the rest of this, um, you know, 
in the next couple videos, okay? So um, thanks for watching again.